always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. Good morning, West Michigan. We are tracking a huge change in air masses that will be moving into West Michigan as a massive shift in the upper level steering winds gets set to unfold across the Great Lakes region. It's going to bring us into the first shot of uh, real winter weather that we've had so far this season. And it's really almost hard to believe that just a year ago we were still golfing in short sleeve shirts. I mean, it was just a remarkable turnaround. I, my, November, my birthday is November 20. I actually golfed last year on my birthday. Oh, and speaking of birthdays, Emily Leonard, birthday today. The birthday fairy says she's 25. So That's let's right. That is exactly accurate. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're looking at temperatures out there. A mild morning for your birthday, Emily, as temperatures are in the 40s to near 50 degrees. We topped out in the low to mid 50s with some sunshine yesterday. Kalamazoo, you topped out at almost 60 degrees, and I really think we're going to make a good run at 60 today with windy and milder conditions building in. Scattered rain showers will be developing. Backside of this system is going to drag us into some sharply colder air starting tomorrow, and that will mix us into some scattered snow showers. Today, though, it's still that southeasterly breeze, clouds on the increase, and we do have that rainmaker off to our west. And as the system continues to get set to move in our direction, we're going to actually stay on the relatively mild side of it as the uh, area precipitation at least initially marches through. We're going to start to see the winds shifting later this evening and overnight tonight. And you can see that snow developing on the back side of the system. That is what's going to be heading our way as we head through tonight, tomorrow, and into the upcoming weekend. As the system clears out, it will open the door for a wholesale shift in the upper level steering winds. Today, buckling back to our west, so with that strong southerly flow, we get the relatively mild air in the Great Lakes region. The colder air begins to wrap in as we head through the day tomorrow and then as low pressure center lifts off to the north and, and east it will open the door for that really cold air to settle into the Great Lakes region and eastern United States as we head through the upcoming weekend and that is going to translate into some accumulating snow we could look at snow on the grassy surfaces as early as daybreak Saturday scattered rain and snow showers mostly snow for Sunday and Monday we get a break in the action for Tuesday and then we've got another system coming in with rain changing over to a mixing with snow by the middle of next week. So the big story today, the really strong winds. Emily Skydema is taking a look at that part of the weather story. Yeah, it's going to be a windy day out there. So a lot of leaves probably finally coming down from those trees. For inland areas, we're looking at sustained winds right around 15 to 20 miles per hour through a lot of today. And even tonight, those wind speeds are still going to be a little bit high. Now we'll take you to the lakeshore, and that's where we're expecting to see the windiest conditions. So this morning, winds coming in around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Heading into the day tomorrow, still breezy at the lakeshore. We could even see sustained winds coming in close to 30 miles per hour tonight at the lakeshore. So it's going to be breezy out there. Here's a look at some of our peak wind gusts in the forecast. Coming in around 25 to 30 miles per hour for inland areas today. But at the lakeshore, we could see winds gust as high as 40 miles per hour. So today is going to be breezy, still breezy tomorrow. Winds will be calming down this weekend, but then we'll get that chance of snow. So far this morning, Tom, things are looking pretty quiet. Any issues on the road so far? Uh, the only issue so far right now is we have a stalled semi truck along the eastbound lanes of I 196. It is stalled after the uh, 32nd Avenue uh, exit, and that is partially blocking right now. But obviously, light traffic at this time, so uh, drivers able to make it around that. Uh, but we'll keep watching that for you and let you know if we do start to pick up a slowdown or a backup in the area. Other than that, as we take a look at all the freeways heading into and around downtown Grand Rapids, those are looking pretty good for us this morning. And we're going to give you a live look out there at area roadways as well. This is eastbound and westbound Ford Freeway through the heart of downtown Grand Rapids. Clear and dry conditions for you this morning. I'll have another update for you in about 15 minutes. Donovan and Emily.